Welcome to another edition of Mr. Miller's Book Nook. Today, we are going to dive into a book that is touching on some concepts about numbers, and uh, specifically a number that acts as a placeholder at many times, and a number that considers himself a hero. Zero the Hero is what we're going to be reading today. It's written by Joan Holub and Tom Lichtenheld. And the book is called Zero the Hero, a book about nothing. Unlike most numbers, Zero believed himself to be a hero. He just needed a chance to prove it. Hey, who's that in the mask? And what's up with those pointy boots? And this cape? From now on, call me Zero the Hero. Uh, call you what? Uh, now I've heard everything. But Zero's belief in himself didn't count for much when it came to fitting in. A one little, two little, three little. Poor Zero, he's always getting left out of the games. Well, tough noogies, he's a counting number, so he can't play. Get a move on, will you, number six? I can't until you do. True, you really can't count a zero number of anything, can you? I can hardly wait till I get to sing eight little. In order to amount to anything, Zero had to stand in the shadow of others more glamorous than he was. Yes, it's true. I'm a number one, the number everyone wants to be. I take first place in every contest. And I'm the number line leader. Oh, and when my pal Zero tags along, I become a 10. That's equal to uh, 10 ones, of course, not 10 zeros. One is greater than zero. <sighs> Giant boom, number one fingers here. Get him here. Occasionally, he was mistaken for various circular objects, seemingly at random. Some days... It really got to him. Hey, aren't you a Fruit Loop? I love those. No, I'm Zero the Hero. Uh, I don't think so. Are you a donut? No. I got it. You're the letter O. No. How many times do I have to tell you? Six? <sighs> Zero does not equal a donut. When it came to addition, he was virtually invisible. Other numbers seemed to pass right through him, almost like magic. One plus zero equals still the one. Two plus zero. <sighs> Three plus zero. This is getting embarrassing. Yes, me first for once. Zero plus four equals four. No matter what order we go in, the results are the same. I got nothing. Okay, let me take a wild guess here. The sum of me and you is going to be me. That's, that's pretty much a short thing, am I right? Well, yes. The same thing happened with subtraction. In their frustration, some numbers were unkind. One minus zero equals, how come I'm called a difference if I don't look any different? Two minus zero equals two. You who me again, you are so zilch. Three minus zero equals three. Z am I uh, boring you? Hello? Four minus zero equals, ah, uh, what are you good for? Hey, diddly squat, anyway, I figure it. Me take away nothing equals me, right? Am I right? Eh, am I? And I hope I have better luck on the next page. Turns out Zero stunk even more at division. So badly, in fact, that other numbers simply refused to be divided by him at all. Sorry, I, uh, I can't be divided by nothing. I mean, what, what would be the point? Ah, uh, come on. What if I let you be the divisor instead? Still, his belief in his wonderfulness persisted. Then one day, during multiplication, it was discovered that any number times zero equals 
you guessed it, zero. I, uh, I apologize for what I'm about to do to you. It's nothing personal. One times zero equals zero. Here I am, another product of zero times anything. I shall return. Fearing extinction, the others ran from him. Who could blame them, though? Hey, where's everybody going? Run for your lives. Good thing I've got nine of them. Don't go near the times tables with zeros around, or you'll be toast. Burnt toast. So, uh, I, I like toast. As the others scurried away, Zero had a horrible realization. A real superhero wouldn't multiply his friends into nothingness. That's the kind of stuff only an evil villain would do. Could it be that he wasn't a hero at all? The thought gave Zero a hollow feeling inside. His confidence was shaken. He tucked himself tight and rolled away. Heading for infinity or oblivion, whichever came first. The counting numbers didn't even notice that zero was gone. As you can see, I've got these five apples, plus, and I've got two bananas here, plus, and I've got three oranges. I think I, I think we know how much fruit we have all together. It equals, what, yes, but, but without zero, I won't be able to solve this problem. He needs to stand here to help me make ten. Uh, uh. This place reserved for zero. To take their minds off their problems, they tried playing a game of a round-off, but this proved impossible without zero. This is no fun. Yeah, without zero, we can't round down to ten. And with, we, we can't round up to thirty. Go figure, say. I, I've been wondering, is that a, a, a tutu that you're wearing? We feel so odd without Zero around. He was such a sweet nothing. Okay, he wasn't totally worthless. The day I met him, I was one lucky seven. He made me feel like I was on cloud nine. No question, the counting numbers were missing their friends. I miss zero twice as much as anyone else. Two, four, six, eight. Who did we not appreciate? I know I teased him, but it feels like there's a hole in my heart now that he's gone. We miss zero even more after all. He was, he was one of us. <laughs> in fact, they were so busy missing him that they didn't notice that they were being surrounded you know, I, I, I never told Zero, but I'm often mistaken for the letter S. Some confuse me with the letter Z. <laughs> Since Zero, if I stand too still, I can be mistaken for a pickle. If I take a nap, I'm mistaken for a lowercase m or a w. Just depends how it's on. I lie on. Snowman. I always get confused for a snowman. Before the numbers knew it, they had been captured by Roman soldiers. In the name of the emperor, we are taking you prisoner. Hey, aren't you the letter X? No, we are not letters. We are Roman numerals. Uh, we don't really like fighting. Instead, maybe we could teach you how to do math, you know, using ones, tens, and hundreds place. Roman numerals don't do math. We just count. Hey, aren't you uh, the letter V? <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine were tossed into the gladiator ring. Almost time. Gladiator ring? No way. I know a clock when I see one. Looks like our days are numbered. Despair, yes. But it's really not all that dark. The Roman soldiers were counting the minutes until they attack. It was a time of darkness and despair. So it, uh, it takes uh, four of you to do my job? From far away, Zero heard his pals call for help. 
This is a job for Zero to Hero, he thought. Faster than a speeding donut, Zero zoomed to the rescue. In pursuit of a speeding donut, Psh, over and out. Look, up in the air. It's a flying bagel. Hey, no, that's my missing chariot wheel. A giant Cheerio, maybe? Release the numbers or else, Zero told the Robins. Or else what, the Romans replied. Or else I will unleash a force greater than you can imagine. The power of nothing. Go ahead, said the Romans. We're not afraid of nothing. Left no choice. Zero grabbed a nearby rock and proceeded to demonstrate his amazing power. Here goes nothing. Zero times a rock equals... Ta-da! Zero! Zero rocks! When the Roman numerals saw the rock disappear, they decided to disappear too. They ran away as fast as they could. Run for your lives! He's going to do a number on us! Let's skedaddle! Yeah, before Zero unleashes his powers on us, go! Don't trip on your togas, guys. All hail Zero to Hero, shouted the counting numbers. Yay! Thank you for saving us. My hero, Zero is great. You are wonderful. Four, he's a jolly good fellow. High five. Three cheers. On second thought, that mask is pretty spiffy. And those boots are certainly growing on me. With his friends around him once more and the knowledge that he had fought evil and won, Zero no longer felt empty inside. And that hollow nothingness inside him was filled with something. And that something was joy. The end. Look, letter O, isn't that your cousin Zero? Oh, yeah.